good day. Welcome to another fantastic edition of 360 Sport. It's an exciting moment um, in the previous edition on um, the world of um, table tennis. This week also we'll be looking at what's going on in Doha um, at the World Table Tennis uh, Middle East um, Orb, where the best of the best um, table tennis players across the globe are gathering to prove so much as regards to the $200,000 um, um, prize money. Representing Nigeria, we know we have um, Omota Olajide and also Aruna Kodri. And in Africa and that's um, Egypt, we have um, Omar Asa, we have Khalid Asa, we have um, Ahmed Sali, and not forgetting um, the ladies, Yusuf and Dina. So I'll be talking with um, an expert, a coach, who has been in Italy for a very long time to share his own perspective of um, what um, the World Table Tennis Championship, which is a new idea from um, the new um, from the International Table Tennis um, Federation. Uh, Mike, it's good to have you on the show. Yes, uh, nice having me. Um, I'm happy to be back on the show. Now, the all of um, friend lovers um, of table tennis, stakeholders, the mind and attention is right in Endoa, where we have the inaugural edition of the World Table Tennis um, um, going on there. Tell us, so far so good, what has been your opinion about this new idea from the International Table Tennis Federation? Uh, yeah, uh, once again, thanks for having me. Yeah, uh, the ITTF uh, are trying to do, uh, to, to make some innovations uh, in the game to, to give it uh, more publicity. So I think... Uh, it is a welcome development. Oh, everybody, every table tennis lover all over the world uh, are happy, at least to be to, to see uh, table tennis, especially uh, because of this uh, pandemic situation. So I think uh, table tennis lovers all over the world are happy to, to see table tennis, uh, although I'm aware that uh, some players are not really happy about, they are not totally happy because it's as if uh, the ITTA has just created a venue only for top players because this is, a, this is exactly what it looks like because uh, for you to be able to, to compete in this tournament, uh, it's not very easy. There are so many restrictions. Uh, uh, your rankings, uh, uh, the number of players your country can enter. So uh, there are some restrictions that I am aware of some uh, most most uh, table tennis players that are not in the high rank, I don't think they're happy about it. Uh, uh, this is definitely what the ITTF will have to look into because everybody should be should be considered should be considered because if we go by this kind of visit, uh, by this kind of thing, or only the top players will be playing and they, they will be the only people making money, and this is this will not be very good for the game. Yeah, does does that does that take away the urge? or from um, developing countries in table tennis, that's um, table ten, um, countries that want to um, start doing, um, start um, developing table tennis. Do you think this decision and this um, what table tennis, does that, does that stop developmental process of some countries that, are, that they want to take um, table tennis up? Uh, obviously, it, it, shouldn't, it shouldn't stop any, any nation from developing. Yeah, instead, it, it is even a kind of motivation for them because hey, if you have to, if you want to have your players uh, at this kind of tournament, that means you you have to to get them to the level. So it is a kind of uh, motivation, uh, sort of, sort of. But you see, it is a double uh, part of coin. You know, uh, you know, in some tournaments in which everybody, should, I mean, will be aspiring to play in. And if you don't have some kind of ranking, you may never, you may never be part of it. That is the problem. So I think the ITTF should have to find a way of uh, of uh, of creating a avenue for everybody. I know the ITTF will not be sleeping. They too will definitely have a way of uh, creating a venue for everybody. So it, it definitely should not cannot stop any nation because uh, for you to get to the top, you have to start from somewhere. So it's a kind of motivation, so to speak. Okay, now interesting. And um, let's not forget that. Um, let's look at the performance of some of our African 
players at the tournament. We know that um, Olajide Omotai uh, um, is the first um, player um, in Africa to win a match when he won his first time um, round and um, preliminary games. We also know yeah. that um, Ibrahim Adel, that's um, the man from Senegal, is the last person uh, from that stage as a contender um, series stage. Tell us about the performance of, um, of Africans in this um, tournament. Hey, by and large, by and large, there are, you see, to, to some extent, uh, there was some kind of surprise because, like, the, the, the exit of uh, Omar Azad uh, seems to be a surprise to everybody. But for, for anybody that is following table tennis all over the world, knows that all these uh, uh, European players, the Eastern European players, the Western European players, whether they are young or old, they are developing a lot. So, uh, Sidorenko beating. Omar to, to the world table tennis to because of the ranking is a kind of surprise. But but to people who are following table tennis knows it's not a kind of surprise. So uh, then uh, Ibrahim Ibrahim Diop uh, is a kind of player everybody should 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 be looking at now because the the, 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 the guy is really really improving and um, you know he, he stays in France. He is he, is also a French. Uh, uh, citizen, so he is really practicing very well, and he has everything working for him. And I don't know if you you have the opportunity of watching him play uh, at this tournament. He has been exceptional, uh, apart from if not because of the Japanese uh, guy uh, Morizono. I think he, he could have still been in the tournament. Uh, Omotai or yeah, Olajide, Olajide, as far as I'm concerned, uh, did very well. Did very well considering that he has not played. I think in the last one year, just like every other person, for him to have uh, got into the second round, I think, yeah, the second round of the elimination, and uh, losing to to this to the to the uh, Swedish guy is not a is not an easy task because the Swedish guy is a very good player. I'm talking about uh, Anton Kalberg. Kalberg is, is a very tough player. Everybody knows him. Yes, he, he plays very well in the German, in the Bundesliga. So, uh, as far as I am concerned, I'm talking. I'm being technical right now. I think uh, he has done well. Uh, I, I did not see the the other African players. I did not see the Af other African players because they are definitely not showing all the matches. Uh, so, but uh, from the result I saw, uh, I think they, they they all did their best. They all did their best. We can always do more. We can always do better. But uh, the opposition is very more. Is too is too high. Is too high. And yeah. I said I should ask you this, but. Um... Uh, it wasn't part, part of the plan to ask you about um, Ibrahima. A lot of people have been pointing out that um, will this be the next uh, African biggest big star in table tennis after Aouna Kodri? Because we've seen that he has proven for a long time. Let's not forget he defeated Aouna Kodri to qualify for the Olympics. So the question is, Ibrahima, Diaw, is it the biggest African table tennis star after Aouna Kodri? <laughs> this is this is a very tricky question. You see, obviously, uh, I don't need to I don't need to tell anybody that knows about table tennis uh, about this uh, this uh, this young guy. So he is definitely going to be a problem for for Nigeria and Egypt. And uh, without missing what without missing what is definitely going to be uh, one of the best in Africa. Definitely going to be one of the best in Africa. Uh, after Aruna, uh, Omar, uh, um, yes, let me let me let me add Olajide because uh, I am particularly interested in him. But this guy is definitely going to be a problem for everybody. Yeah, um, <laughs> is, is that not going to come as a big surprise for a lot of people? Because if you're looking at um, the pole position of who is going to take over. Uh, we, we saw Ibrahim in uh, Nigeria in uh, the last um, um, at the last uh, Nigerian Open. What he did, he almost defeated Aouna Kodri. But is this coming as a surprise? No, no, he, he, definitely not. Definitely not because uh, the, the the guy. You see, I I had the chance of speaking with uh, Sheikh Motoriola, who who happens to be very close to the guy because they stay in France together. So. Uh, Shegun has a very, you have a very good word about the guy because uh, don't forget, don't forget the guy. Uh, I think he used to be in the in the French in the French junior team before he eventually switched to 
to Senegal because he's a Senegalese anyway. But then, uh, with the level of uh, of, uh, of training he's uh, used to, and uh, so many other things, I I even got used to. I mean, I got to know that he even has a kind of sponsorship from the ITTF. I, yes, I got to know that he has a kind of sponsorship from the ITTF that is making him to play virtually all the tournament. So we, with all these kind of things, uh, it is definitely not a surprise for the guy to to, to be to be forging ahead. And uh, you see, when you have all this support, you have financial support, you have technical support, I, I think the Senegalese Federation are, are 100% behind him. So it is it, definitely not a surprise. He, and we can see, we can see, if you watch the matches he played, he is always improving. In every match he played, he has always improved. From playing Aruno in Lagos, then from playing Aruno at the Olympic qualification, and now at this WTT tournament, you can definitely see improvement in virtually everything he's doing, uh, both technical, both physical, and uh, even psychological, because he, he has won some matches that, I, that y y you have to be strong in the brain before you can win those matches. So evidently, the, the, the guy is improving all, all, all in all way, all way. Yeah, before we go on this uh, quick break, uh, I'm still on this question, but I, I, I want us to come home a bit, and that's to do with um, Ibrahim. He had the choice of representing France. Um, there was no opportunity for him. He went to Mali. There was no federation. Um, table tennis federation, and before Senegalism accepted him, do, do, are you going to advise Nigerian players should look for greener pasture, even if the country is not supporting that vision? <laughs> you see, uh, well, looking looking to looking forward to greener pastures is not a very easy thing. I remember, I remember when we came here to many many years ago. Some of us had the opportunity. Of uh, playing for for some other countries, I I I knew people who had the opportunity of doing it, but but because of the patriotism in Nigeria, and uh, we Nigerians, some of us we never even think of that. We never even think of that. So uh, I don't think it is it is not even to me. I don't I don't like it anyway. I don't like it. You see, a lot of people have even asked me a question: Why is why is my son not playing for Nigeria? Because is my son. So, so you know, this kind of a, this kind of question do come up. But uh, I, I don't advise anybody to to do that. Though we have had some Nigerian players, somebody like Saidi Dowu and some other Nigerian guys who have gone to play for Congo or this kind of a thing. But I will always advise Nigerians to play for Nigeria. So what is what is good is for Nigeria to try as much as possible to 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 put Nigerians. In, in, in the right frame of mind, in the in, in the right uh, atmosphere to be able to compete. That is my own. I, I don't think I want to advise Nigerian players to 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 leave Nigerian color. I I, I have never done that because uh, the patriotism in me will not allow that. Okay. Yes, I'm what said uh, Michael Ibode. We'll go on this quick break. When we come <laughs> back, we'll be leaving at some other topics that has to do with African. Um, female table tennis. So don't go away. It's CTV 360 Sports. Hello? Yeah, I found your wallet in front of a supermarket. Meet me at Apple Junction. Yes, I'll be waiting for you. Now we find out. <laughs> Two of us. <laughs> Thank you very much, officer. You know, it's surprising that men like you still exist in the police force. Yes, oh, oh, yes. This is just a token <laughs> of my appreciation. Oh, hey. no, you don't need to do this. We're only doing our job. <laughs> Thank you very much. God You're bless welcome. you. Yeah. Now I know police is really my friend. Yes. Friend. Hey. Okay, which game will be this one? Now? I don't understand. Wait, wait, wait. You know your problem. You are greedy. Uh, I'm a policeman who is doing his job. All forms of corruption in the force. Not in my country. Corruption not in my country. Yes, um, welcome back. We're still definitely going on as we have um, Michael Oyebode, who is live um, from um, Italy with us. And uh, Michael. Thank you so much for your previous um, response. Okay, yes. 
I'm here. Yeah, this is our concern, and that's to do with African female table tennis players. It's worrisome, and um, we know definitely that um, we don't get the best of the best from Africa female, and Egypt has not been able to do so well, even in regards to producing uh, female table tennis player, unlike the past. Same applies to Nigeria. We know at the ongoing World Table Tennis um, Championship in Doha, Dina and um, one of that lady from Egypt is the, uh, are the only one there. What can you say about the future of African female table tennis? <laughs> the, the future of African table tennis... Uh, the female? Uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Female African female table tennis. I don't, uh, I don't really know how we're going to go about it. Because, uh, you see, le 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 let me talk about Nigeria. Let me talk about Nigeria because I, I think I, I know little about Nigeria. You see, in, in, in the days when we, the likes of uh, uh, Bosse, Kafo, Funke, Oshonaike, uh, Biola Odumosu and some other, you see, we have a lot of girls who actually came from the schools. They actually came from the, from the secondary schools and uh, that was where the, the hunting comes from. That was, that was where it, it actually came for, from. But now, I, I don't know how, how they are doing the, the scouting right now. I don't know how they are doing the scouting right now. And you and I, we agree, you, you agree with me that uh, anything that involves the female uh, gender is always a, a very delicate thing. So because you have to be, you, you have to be, uh, uh, you have to take, into cognizance a lot of things. So now I don't know how they are recruiting them, but the few of them I saw play, uh, they, 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 they have to change the, 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 the way they play because the problem is, is actually now the style of play. It's actually the style of play, the way the, the female players are playing now in Nigeria, uh, even in Africa, in Egypt, because I see the Egyptians that are trying to play like the Europeans, they are trying to play like the the, the Chinese girls. So I think what is important now is for us to try and change the, their style of play. I remember when we went to, to China, uh, I think eight, eight years ago, when we first got to China, our, our girls were, were not able to, to cope with the Chinese girls because of the different style. But after a few days there, some of them started playing, started adjusting to the style because that is the problem. It is the style of play that we have to we have to study now. We have to study the style of play, and we have to try and uh, change the style of play. So that is very important right now. Okay. Yeah, I'm still on that. I want to ask. This, I I begin to think it's a matter of projection. That means the Nigerian Table Tennis Federation and other Table Tennis Federation in Africa have mm -hmm. not been able to project the female table tennis to the rest of the world. I, I, right now, I can, I can think of players that are as good as the African counterpart, but because of projection, I still know definitely that we have Cecilia, we still have um, Fatima Bello, we still have a lot of them, that some of them even gave up along the way. Not because yeah. of they can't do better, but because there's no projector. The Federation has not projected these players in the light of um, the international counterpart. Do you also believe in that theory? Hey, you, you know, you know, in the African culture, in the African culture, the the the, the, the feminine gender are, have a lot of things to think about. They have a lot of things to think about when when they are, when they are young, when they start growing, they have a lot of things to think about. So, if if they did not see future in the game they are playing, some of them will have to fall back to other things, which you and I know. Okay, you 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 mentioned uh, Fatima Bello, Fatima Bello. In 2012, in 2012, we, in my view, was definitely one of the best players Nigeria uh, had then. And if I'm not mistaken, in 2012, she was around 14 years old. She was around 14 years old. But a lot of things, a lot of things happened that actually made her to stop for like two years. I think she had problem with some some kind of a administrative problem. And in between that. What do you think happened in between that? She, she, she eventually became a mother, which is not a bad thing anyway. It's not a bad thing because that, we never, that doesn't stop you from playing. But, you know, in, in the European setup, in the European setup, they don't think about all this kind of a thing. They, I mean, they, 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 are, they are virtually uh, uh, equal to their male counterpart. 
they have actually equal to their male counterpart. They have the same structure. They, you know, they, 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 they are not treated differently. So this is another, this is a kind of problem we have to face. So for the African players, especially the Nigerian, the Nigerian female players, for them to think of making headway in table tennis, they will, they will have to see something that will make, okay, I can make my living. Okay. I can earn my living from this. So okay. it is very important to look about that too. Yeah, before we, we don't have much time by our side, yeah. but I'll, let's just quiz these questions for you. Um, is there any opportunity over there for African table tennis players in Europe? You've been there for almost 26 years, you've been in Italy. What kind of opportunities do you think is there for the upcoming table tennis players in Africa, especially Nigeria? Yeah, but opportunity. Opportunity has always been there for anybody because it, it is all about being, uh, being good or seeing prospect in you. Seeing prospect in you, like I said, when Sheikh Muntoriola got to Italy like 30 years ago, he, was not as, he wasn't as, as good as he was when he got here. So we, they saw opportunity in him and they, 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 they started training him when he got here and he started improving. So all we need to do is for us, we, we, have, we have to start coming to practice in the Western world. That is, that is the opportunity. That is the opportunity we can, we can get. We have to start finding a way to come and start doing our training tours here in, in, in Europe, uh, in China, in Japan. We have to start doing this kind of a thing. We have to start doing it. Because if we sit down at home alone, it's going to be a big problem for us. We have to start going out. We have to start mixing with these players. We have to start seeing what is going on. That is how our opportunity can come. If you play good, they will definitely put it. The Europeans will see you and they will put you into their system. Okay. But if you don't play good, that's nothing you can do about are it. How is, is, is the scouting system like for African table tennis players? The no, scouting no, the, system? The, the scouting system is, 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 basically, is basically most of us that are here. Is the, the scouting system, we are basically the scout. Let me put it that way. We are basically the scout because if, if they need a player in Italy, a Nigerian player, even if... They, even if the player contacted them themselves. The, the clubs, we still have to come and ask some of us. They, they, most especially, they, they do ask me this kind of a thing. And uh, most of the time, the recommendation will come from somebody like me, from somebody from Fatahidi, somebody like uh, Gide now, and Shegun uh, Toriola, and Co. I don't know, all these kind of things. So these, these are the people that we have to give recommendations. So there is nothing, because we don't play tournaments anyway. We've not been playing tournaments. So... There is no avenue for them to see Nigerian players. So if they don't see Nigerian players, it's going to be very difficult unless they get a recommendation from some of us. Thank you very much, very yeah. much, uh, Michael, for giving us your time. It's my pleasure. My pleasure. Have a great day. It has been a wonderful time on the show today, and uh, we've been seeing how Nigerian table tennis can go forward. We know right now there's a World Table Tennis Series going on in Doha and many other tournaments across the globe. So it's obviously that the future of um, African table tennis, be it unknown, but there's so much um, um, prospects in it. This is what we could take on today's program. I'll say a big thank you to those who have been part of the program and those who have joined us um, from all our social media and news. And we know definitely the conversation on table tennis and many other sports continues on all these platforms. My name still remains Mudashiro Shitu. Same time next week. And like I do say, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.